Hi guys, it's me Joys. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to make your life a little bit more eco-friendly, as a young person especially. There's a wasp buzzing around the camera. <laughs> For me, I find it really important that we use less plastics, making less waste. Essentially, we're helping ourselves in the end because if you're helping the world, then you're helping your home and then you're helping yourself as well. Hopefully in this video, you'll be able to learn how to make your life slightly more eco-friendly and find ways of doing things that can help the world. And you might also think, what difference does it make if I'm the only one doing something about it? If everyone does little things, it all adds up, like Tesco's slogan. Everything helps. Everything makes a difference, create a massive impact. I always have something that's packaged in plastic. It's almost impossible not to, but it's just little changes that you can make to actually decide not to buy plastic. This is also inspired by the IKEA Lagom slogan. Lagom is a Swedish word, meaning don't take too little, but don't take too much. It's all about finding the in-between where you've got the right amount of everything. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. First things first, I'm gonna talk about the water bottles. Almost every drink that you can buy in a shop is in a single use bottle. Investing in a water bottle is a really good idea. In our home we've got a range of different water bottles that we have. We always try and bring water bottles when we go out. My mum loves her glass bottle but I find metal more useful. We use charcoal to purify the water. Plastic for my sporty dad and my three-year-old brother. When you really need to buy water out, look out for cans. TK Maxx is the most wonderful drink range by the till. There is an amazing range of really good bottles out there for every taste and every wallet. TK Maxx also has a great range of big brands for less. And same goes for these super cute lunch boxes. You can also buy reusable coffee cups to cut down on single use Starbucks and Costa cups. Second is sweets and chocolates that you buy in shops are always packaged in plastic. What you can do is make your own. I made Twixes, which were really, really yummy. They're healthier than normal Twixes. They don't have any packaging as opposed to the plasticky wrapper that Twixes have. And the Twixes are one of Alpha Foodie's recipes. Um, so you should go and check her out. She makes the most amazing foods. Next thing is beeswax wraps. So you might have heard of these. They're basically an alternative to cling film and foil. So they're made of beeswax and fabric and they stick together to create kind of a wrap to seal foods. As you can see, I'm using them to store the Twixes I made. You can reuse them and keep them for many months. Everyone likes pick and mix. They usually come in plasticky paper cups. So a good way of avoiding using those is by bringing your own jar, bring your own container and fill it up and therefore you're reducing waste. to Mr. Sims old sweet shop. Shampoo. Shampoo bottles are almost always in plastic bottles. You use the shampoo bottle and then you chuck away the bottle. It's for single use plastic, not very good. A shop that I've found do really good shampoos without packaging is Lush. There's no packaging whatsoever. It's a circular bar of shampoo that really works, foams and washes your hair really well. There's so many different options and they have no packaging and no plastic. They are quite expensive, but then they do last a long time. Toothbrushes. Plastic toothbrush will come in a plastic packaging, whereas you can buy a bamboo toothbrush. Our family have had these for quite a while now. We buy them from a website called Fet. They're really, really good. They last a long time. They're bamboo. They don't litter the world. They come in different colours and they're also not that expensive. Something else you can do, which is a really easy and much better change than just riding in a car, is walking places and also cycling places. Now, my dad is a massive cycler. Can you say that? Cycler. Cyclist. He's always encouraging me to go out and cycle instead of just going in the car. One thing is, if you're feeling lazy, which I sometimes do, you don't really fancy cycling or walking anywhere. But still a much better decision. If you can, into the shop for example, and it's quite close, then just walk. You don't have to go in the car. That reduces carbon monoxide gases released into the atmosphere. Sounds like I've swallowed a chemistry textbook. Okay, now for a fun part. I wanted to mention clothes as it's a big part of everyone's life. This whole outfit is secondhand for big brands. Really good quality, but also expensive. I got it for a fraction of the price as I got them secondhand. This helps to reduce pollution created by the clothes industry. I even wore them when I met Zoella. Hashtag Madame Tussaud. <laughs> Wrap wrapping paper is also lined with plastic. An easy and cheap alternative to wrap presents for friends or for Christmas would be to use a bandana. Buy a bandana or a piece of fabric to wrap someone's present with.
It makes as an extra gift as well. Using a pretty box is also another option. And my mum uses hers as an earring box. The next thing is sun cream. So it's a nice sunny day at the beach and you lather on your sun cream and then you hop in the ocean. The sun cream that washes off you, it actually kills coral reefs and fish because it's got microplastics in it. Um, a way to avoid this is by buying a brand that does not have microplastic. We usually have this Jason sun cream that is actually really good. It's not chalky, it smells like mango and it also doesn't harm any aquatic wildlife. As you can see, it's just really easy, small decisions that you can make that make a really big difference in the long run. Another thing is using metal or paper straws. Every week in our house, we usually whip up a quick smoothie with some raspberries, mango, yogurt in a blender, and then we use metal straws and it's delicious and easy and no waste involved. Much better than buying a smoothie in a plastic bottle. using cotton pads to remove your makeup or wipes which contain a lot of plastic you can use something like this I've recently bought they're basically makeup remover pads and you can just put some of your mycelia water onto it and then use it many times wash it and reuse it one thing I'm working on finding is some kind of makeup remover not in a plastic bottle comment below if you have a recommendation and the last thing is from this brand called Comavant we got the starter pack of products that can be refilled such as this shampoo which is an alternative to the Lush shampoo that I mentioned earlier this deodorant that can be refilled, therefore cutting down on single-use plastic. These soap flakes that can be made into hand soap. And this powdered toothpaste that can again be refilled. So I hope this has enlightened you into how easy it is to make simple, easy, cheap decisions on using much less of what you don't need to, in the end, create a massive impact. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below, comment if you have any questions and what you do to save the environment, and like the video if you want more videos to do with how I live my life more eco-friendly. I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!